Okay, so what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be doing a dabbed painting. We're gonna be using a plastic bag, but the caveat is we actually have a design for today that we're gonna try to make. Okay, so what I kinda wanna do today is I wanna make a, I wanna try to make like an abstract rose or an abstract flower. And I actually have some good colors for that. I've got a, a darker green here uh, for the, you know, for the stem. I guess they probably are a little bit lighter, but I feel like this green that I have here up here is a little too light. So it just would be a little too much. Uh, so I figured I'd kind of err on the side of, of running a little bit uh, darker uh, green. And then we're going to be doing this, uh, <clears throat> this red right here for uh our flowers which let's see oh sorry we're gonna do this one i i grabbed the wrong one apologies uh but we're gonna be using this one right here it's called roses are red it's an interesting sound okay so uh we're gonna be doing roses are red figured that was uh that was apt it's kind of where i got the idea and then this dark green called billiard green, I believe, or billiard table. And then we've got black. So we're gonna do black around the edges, and then we're gonna do, obviously, the green for the stem and the red for the actual flower. Now, I don't know much about making flowers. I don't really know much about how to make them um, as far as, you know, the kind of standard way. Uh, but we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're going to mix these colors and then we're gonna put them on our paper. And I've already got the paper down. I've already got this plastic sheet right here. Uh, this is to protect the pages underneath it. So we're gonna put that bad boy right under there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our painting sticks that I probably should have already had out, but you know, I'm not the most uh, organized person. And we're gonna go ahead and give these bad boys a stir. Okay, now that we're in the future and our paints are magically already stirred for us, we can go ahead and begin our abstract painting of the rose or the abstract painting of the flower. I'm hoping it turns out, okay? I don't know what I'm doing. Just gonna throw that out there. We're gonna try anyway. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to kind of make a little bit of a, of a star pattern uh, with our red paint here, okay? So this will kind of be like, you know, the. Uh, well, the flower, uh, this should be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and I'm hoping that's enough paint. We're gonna leave that there. So next we're going to go ahead and make our little stem. And it looks really stupid and, and childish right now. I, I, I understand that. Uh, and you know what, to be honest with you, it, it may look like that when we're done anyway. Um, and I got a little bit of a little bit of paint on my hand, so we'll just kind of wipe that off on the paper. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and put our black on there, and we're going to do black around the edges. I'm hoping to make this look kind of cool um, with like a, you know, this abstract flower here in the middle, and then you know this cool almost, uh, I don't know, abstract background well single color black background so we've got our our bags here and i may not even need more than one i may just kind of rotate the bag but we're going to go ahead and get started so we're going to try to keep the red relatively in the middle and some of these colors are probably going to bleed over and so we're just going to try to put that here and then we're going to start going into our our green And this actually isn't turning out like I had hoped. It's actually very bad. So we're gonna go ahead and just mix these colors because 
this isn't happening. So we're gonna pull these colors over. We're gonna start bringing them out. And this isn't actually gonna be enough paint anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and just start adding the paint and then mixing it up. So we'll put some pink here, put some pink here, and put some pink here. Uh, sorry, red, I called it pink, I don't know my colors. But what I'm thinking is that it's okay that it kind of didn't turn out the way that I was thinking. Honestly, you could make an abstract flower doing that with uh, maybe some acrylics and a little tiny spatula, the little angled ones, uh, the knife. You probably do that. But we've already messed this up and I, I want to go ahead and just keep filming because sometimes things just happen like that. So we're going to go ahead and start pulling our paint out like normal. And we're going to try to get this, this paint really really moved around. We don't want this paint to just sit in one spot. And honestly, when this is done, we could probably just say that, you know, it's it's actually just kind of a, a bouquet of roses because the pink is really going to still show through and it's going to give us a kind of a, still going to give us like an abstract look. This, this thing is trash. So, a new one. Now let's see if we can get these colors out. Now, one thing with these paintings, you don't want to keep going over the same exact spot over and over again, because then you start to lose the little design. Um, so we want to try to, you know, get a little bit of that design out by going over different spots. So we'll put some more green there, green there, a little bit of green up here. I feel like it's laughing up there. And then we'll add a little bit more pink. And surprisingly enough, it wasn't enough paint. All right, I think we're good there. So let's go ahead and try to get some of this red out first. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of really push into that paint. We really want to carry it with us. And we're, we're almost stamping it, right? We're, we're kind of stamping this painting with that color. And that's really what these kind of paintings are. I call them dabbed paintings, but I guess stamping is almost all, also appropriate. So we're gonna pull some of these other colors out. And mix some of these in. Now rotate the bag, kind of give it a little character, and to prevent those colors from graying. Well, they won't turn gray, but they'll get muddy. Sometimes if I can't get it with the device I'm using, I'll just go ahead and tap it with my finger because I got the glove on. Okay, so we're almost done. I feel like there's a little too much, there's not enough pink in some of these areas. So I'm gonna try to give it a little bit of character and really kind of pull some of these out. And actually I'll just put a little tiny bit of black next to it, just so I can kind of pull both of those out. So we're gonna stamp this. pull some of that out into some of these other areas. Look at my hands, they're really gross. But th this is actually a good example of what I was talking about. You see, this, these colors have kind of merged together um, because of the black and the pink and the green and going over them so many times. So this is what I'm talking about when the colors become muddy. This can happen with acrylics too. So it's not just gloss enamel that this happens with. But anyway, let me go ahead and take this off and I will show you guys the final piece. Okay. So 
here is the final piece. I'm going to try to get a thumbnail. The last, last time I did that, it didn't work. So hopefully it took it. I'm going to push it a couple times. Okay. So here's the final piece. Um, it actually is pretty cool. It does remind me of roses. So, you know, I kind of do get that sense. Um, the colors are interesting. I will say that it did turn out better than I had hoped. Uh, once we kind of had some direction on it, but it's not as good as I envisioned, if that makes sense. So not a bad piece. I actually kind of do like it. It's got like a little bit of a lore to it, um, but not my favorite. So I th it could just be the colors. Um, I'm not keen on this kind of color scheme, but it, it is kind of cool. So not too bad, but um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it guys. Appreciate you watching. If you did, Please leave a comment, like, all that cool stuff, or tell me you hate it. I don't care. Um, but that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. God bless. See you then. Stay safe and sane. Bye, guys.